period, the current account ballooned to as much as, as high as 14% of GDP. Why? When you've got a strong currency like the US dollar, the propensity to, the propensity to import increases. The demand for imports goes up. At the same time, the US dollar is not good for competitiveness. It can stabilize prices for sure, but it's not good for competitiveness. And you end up deindustrializing because industry just cannot compete. Most people don't realize that what had say what saved industry was really the, the ban on certain imports, mainly from the region. That's what saved industry uh, within an environment of the use of the US dollar. But that also, that is also slightly abnormal, but, but that, that's, that's what happened. So this move in adopting a formal domestic currency as the mm -hmm. sole legal tender within our borders, uh, it gets Zimbabwe closer to normalcy, uh, if not the restoration of, of normalcy. I want to be clear on the, uh, uh, the holding or possession of U.S. dollars. Uh, if, you, if you have U.S. dollars in, uh, in your person, on your person, rather, um, uh, in the bank account, in a, in a foreign currency account, Nostra account, it's your money. You can keep it there, do whatever you like with it. Except that if you want to go in, into a shop uh, within Zimbabwe, you have to change it into domestic currency and then be able to, uh, to, to transact. Um, there's another reason why perhaps it's important for us to, to do what we did. There are a lot of ordinary people in the rural areas uh, who are suffering under the weight of who are looking at the impact of the cyclone, uh, the impact of the drought, uh, the reform agenda itself, uh, high inflation and so forth. And, and clearly there's been a, a call from them to say, look, uh, we cannot afford this self-US uh, uh, self dollarizing economy. What we need is our own currency. And also the currency is a source of pride. 